Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevSecOps project. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the architecture of the product. Okay, so before we start, I would like to request that if you're new over here, kindly subscribe to the channel because it really motivates me to create more content like this. All right, so let's dive right into the video. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to discuss today is all tools and technologies in Unition. It means that whatever tools and whatever technologies we are going to use, we are going to draw a diagram for that. And uh, I could have explained it in a form of format like a picture and showing you the pictures of the tool. But I want you to go with me and learn with me and draw a diagram through hand so that you can learn by doing it. All right. Second thing we are going to see the code flow from 10,000 feet. So how would it look when the project would be completed, how the code flow would be there. So we are going to take a look at that from a 10,000 feet view. I mean, we would not go deep into it. We'll just understand how it would look like. We'll talk about it later that how the deep the code is going through. All right. The next thing is the rough idea of the CICD or the pipeline. So we are going to take a look that how a pipeline would look like, how the CICD we're going to make, make it happen. And that's what we'll talk about around it. And the last thing that how we are going to club everything all together. So we are going to use a tool and then we are going to club everything together and make this project working. All right. So these are the four things that we are going to discuss today. All right. So uh, let's dive right into the demo part. Okay. So the first thing that we are going to do over here is we are going to use Jenkins that you already know. So there would be a whole setup for that. And let me draw a very big rectangle over here that will show you what we're going to use. So we're going to use Jenkins over here. All right. So Jenkins is the first thing that will contain everything this CI CD has. All right. So this is the first thing that you can do. The second thing would be the Maven build. So we are going to do use Maven for our building of the code. So this step would happen after you check out the code from GitHub. Okay, so we are going to use GitHub. So the first thing would be building. So Maven, what is going to do? It is going to build your code. All right. And we are going to use a Java project for a very basic thing. All right. Second thing, we are going to run J unit test case against it. So J unit would be the second thing that we are going to do. And you already know what J unit does is you have to write a few test cases, you have to run against it, and then you can get some idea of like, uh, whether the test cases are running, everything is perfect or not. All right. The third step would be sonar cube, the sonar cube, we're going to use sonar cube, we already know that we are going to check the code quality for that using this. So this would be a code quality part. So I'm going to write it like this code quality. And this is for testing. Okay, so unit test, basically, unit test would be the thing that we can call this. So unit test. And then after that, we're going to build a Docker build. Okay, so we are going to use Docker hub for that. So I'll just write Docker over here. And this is Docker Hub. So I'll write just th. Okay, so we are going to do that. And whatever we are going to create using Docker, we will be mostly using the image part. So we have to scan it because we are concentrating on security. So we're going to scan it. So scan what the this image. Okay, so scanning of the image, and we are going to use it through Trivi. So we've talked about Trivi right in the last video. So Trivi is the application name that we're going to use. And after that, we're going to push it to Docker. Okay, so Docker Hub is something we're going to push it. So this is not Docker Hub, this is just the usage of technology Docker. And then we are going to use Docker Hub over here. Uh, there's a veil, I cannot draw something like that, I guess. Yeah, so this is, this is the best that I can do. So this is Docker Hub. All right. So this is something that we are going to do over here. So this is a very basic idea of how it it's going to look like. Now let's talk about the part in which we are going to uh, let me just drag it a bit. Yeah. So these are the scan results that is, uh, we are going to produce some scan results, right? So we are going to push it in some kind of cloud. Okay, so we can use either we can use uh, GCP, I guess, uh, we can use AWS, or we can use Azure. Okay. Uh, any of these three will will take a call uh, at the end. Okay. And we're going to upload the scan reports to this. So uploading scan reports. Okay, scan reports. So this would be the one step. And then uh, in Jenkins, we are going to do some configurations, right? So this is a DevSecOps project, you already know. So we are going to do something for the secret management. Okay, 
so secret management should be happening uh, spelling is wrong so you can just fix it and we have talked about this tool known as vault so we are going to use that and this is very important and then after that once the build is done everything is done we have to push the notifications okay so something has to be done for the notifications part so notification i'm going to write it like this uh, we are either use going to use teams uh, microsoft teams or we are going to use slack we have already talked about this in the last video so these are the two things all right so uh, let me just check if i can uh, yeah i think i can make it a bit smaller okay this is cool so this would be the whole architecture okay so let me write it architecture i'm sorry for my bad handwriting okay so this is the architecture so now again i'm going to reiterate it everything is happening in jenkins you can see okay so let me check if i can pick the red color okay so everything is happening in jenkins so how our pipeline would look like the first step would be check out of the code the second step would be the maven build the third step would be the testing the fourth step would be the sonar cube the scan the code quality fifth step would be the image building and then scanning the image in the sixth step in the seventh step we are going to push it to docker hub and then in the meantime and in, in this can be a parallel step all right so in this step we can uh, you can either write this one as seven or you can write this one as seven eight or something it does not matter so this can be a parallel step and this is going to be uploaded to some kind of cloud we can use aws gcp or an azure we will decide it later all right and then uh, this is your whole code flow or your whole pipeline how it is going to look, look like this so if you go through everything and you do it and inside an interview when you talk about any project that you have learned or have done on your system you can talk about this project and when they ask like can you explain me the code flow or you can you explain me the pipeline so you can explain it like this from checkout till docker hub that's what we are going to do over here all right so this is the mini project that you can talk about everything is happening in jenkins which we already talked about the secret management part is vault we have already talked about this in our last video and then push notification we are either going to use teams uh, let me write it again teams and another one is slack okay so what i want you to do is if you are uh, doing this on pen and paper use pen and paper and make a notebook in which you write up everything about this project and try to make a better diagram than this at least and uh, understand how the code flows all right so this is uh, the about the architecture and uh, from the next videos we are going to install stuff and see how we can put this code and this project together all right so uh this is done guys uh, i hope you have understood it if there is anything that you want me to explain again or you want me to uh, explain in the comments feel free to comment below and i will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one